I sometimes forget that I'm adopted. My parents are my parents. I never think of them as my adoptive parents. They are who I know and who raised me and loved me. And my parents just always did a really good job of letting me know that I was adopted from Columbia and that I have a birth family down there that if I wanted to ever find them, they would support me 100%. And eventually I decided that's something that I wanted to do. And I did find them a couple years back. And my mom always told me for years that she wanted to meet my birth mom because she wanted to thank her for allowing her to become a mom. And so I got to meet everyone when I went down to Columbia for the first time down there. It was really special. We've been together since 1993 and got married after three years. We just seemed to like being together and being us. When our niece was born, we spent a lot of time with her, a lot of time caring for her and helping her mom out. It wasn't too much long after she was born that I'm like, I think I'd like to have a baby. I don't want to be pregnant, but I want to have a baby. We knew adoption was always an option that was out there because there's plenty of children that are always needing homes. We figured that would be a great start. We really didn't consider a whole lot of anything else. There was just an easy, natural bond between the three of us. Lily is just an exceptional, sweet, social little girl that I think she built trust in us very quickly and we fell in love with her immediately. I can't imagine my life without her. When I started at Evolve years ago, the staff had always said to me, we look at the best interest of the child and the child is best suited within their bio family. Well, if that's true, we need to have the breadth of services for that child. So it is odd, I think, for an adoption agency to be doing family preservation work, foster care work, and adoption work where you have the continuum of services for the child. But that's what we should be doing. So we see about a 50% adoption rate in our foster care programming. And then the other 50% either get reunited with bio families or they're potentially in foster care for a longer period of time. Whether it's reunification or adoption, we don't want kids to linger in foster care. For children to grow up and be the best that they can be, a family is a basic need. I guarantee you that somebody sitting next to your child in school has been in the foster care system or have been adopted. You just don't know it. It's a somewhat hidden issue within schools and systems. People don't know, but it's there. And eventually when I met my birth mom, she did tell me she wanted me to have opportunities and to be able to be raised and be healthy. I was in a position and grew up in a family where I was able to go to school and go to college and then go on to professional school. I had a lot of opportunity and I didn't want to take anything for granted. My ultimate goal for her is to be happy. And anything I can do to help her to be happy, I'm gonna make it work. I wanna give her an excellent education, give her all the love she could possibly handle, which is not a problem because everybody who meets her loves her. With her having Down syndrome, I wanna give her all those resources that she can have so that she can be the best person she can be. Adoption is broader than just the one child that's been adopted. You know, it's the whole family. It's the grandparents, and it's the aunts and uncles and cousins, and it's the siblings that potentially are already in the home as well. If we could expand on that exponentially as far as that impact of that one child being adopted into the family, I can't even imagine what that number would be. I wanted to be able to do anything possible for these children that are in foster care, and I wanted to be able to give back to the community. You know, if there's any child in need of dental care, I'd be more than happy to treat them at no cost. Since they really don't have much stability in their life, I wanted to offer my services and offer them a dental home. We need our community to embrace the potential of all of our children. It's not just about finding the foster families or the adoptive families, but it's also about continuing to just find people that believe in our cause and our mission and are willing to support us. We've all heard the saying, it takes a village. So not only in our communities do we need that village, but we need the village here at Evolve. So our staff and our volunteers and our donors 
special events committees, our board of directors. We need them all. It's all an important piece to what we do.